That's better. You know, seeing as I uh, was born and raised in Idaho, most people don't know this about true Idahoans, but we just eat potatoes like apples. You know? Pretty good. Today I'm going to take the recipe that your grandma has been making for years, throw in a little bit of magic with these beautiful, perfect Idaho potatoes, mash them up, and make the most delicious cinnamon roll you have ever had. They have to be Idaho potatoes. Let's get started. We're going to start with two to three medium sized Idaho potatoes. Peel them and dice them. Boil them, usually 15 minutes until they're soft. Now here's an important step. Make sure and save some of that water because you're going to need a cup of that potato water. Mash those potatoes. You can just use a fork. Make sure it's smooth. Juggle them. And now we're going to go with half a cup of warm water that we're going to add two tablespoons of yeast to. Make sure that the water is not too hot, otherwise it will kill off the yeast. Give it a nice little stir. And now we've got two eggs, fourth cup coconut oil, half cup butter, three-fourths cup sugar, one to two tablespoons of vanilla, fourth cup whipping cream, and we're going to throw in a tablespoon of honey. And then, eight and a half cups of flour. Now let's start putting this uh, dough together. Alright, you can mix all of those ingredients together in a bowl. Use a whisk to stir it up so it's nice and smooth. And then you're going to add your flour. You can start stirring with a wooden spoon. Get your hands nice and dirty, knead it, let it rise for two hours. Roll it out. You're going to spread butter over it, three-fourths cup sugar and cinnamon, then roll that up. Cut it with some floss, put it on a pan, throw it in the oven 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Now the frosting, you're going to make a typical frosting, but make sure you add a spoonful of those mashed potatoes. Here we go. Mmm. That is a good cinnamon roll. Proof that potatoes can be used in sweet recipes. Enjoy.